Under Central, we have different performance graphs in which we can see a cumulative of all the markets that we enter at the sellout level, specifically manufacturing, order, and revenue. And we can see a breakdown of each of the markets, what they are generating in terms of revenue, units sold, and the percentage of revenue generated in relation to the global account. At the bottom, we could see shipped revenue and shipped cost information in terms of sourcing, which is what we have generated within our vendor account versus manufacturing, which is everything we have generated as manufacturers can already be vendor accounts, our own or third-party seller accounts, distributors who also sell our product in both. So here we can see both what we generate and what is sold globally, both shipped revenue and shipped cost. We have a graph in which we report units sold, units of manufacturing ordered, manufacturing shipped and sourcing shipped. Here we show the graph of sales by ads in which tells us what percentage of the total revenue generated they sell from advertising. And here there is only 6%. Almost all of the sale comes organically by a good ranking of the product. And we can show it both at a percentage level or at a revenue level. We could see that organic we have invoiced 1,200,000 sponsored products, 81,000. Sponsored brands is not being realized and sponsored display a small amount of 40 euros. Best seller rank graph which measures the organic positioning of our product and is classified by subcategories. Each icing receives a position in the subcategory where it belongs. And we can see if we are improving or worsening the best seller rank. In this way, we could see the initial position versus the final position at the global level of all markets. But if we look in the graph, we can also see the evolution of each of the markets individually and see if we are improving or worsening the best seller rank. At the taco level, we can see the percentage of revenue coming in, the percentage of advertising investment that we have at the level of total revenue generated from the account, whether it is from advertising, Organic, unlike the ACOS. Here we measure the total ACOS, which would be the total revenue generated. We found a graph of sessions. The graph of sessions tells us the volume of users which have accessed our detail pages, either by organic or paid. And on the right, we can see reflected if this traffic is qualified with a good conversion rate, if we are giving the right information at the product page level, and we believe that the two graphs are closely related because sometimes we can increase the number of sessions and the conversion rate may not be seen in an increase, but in a decrease because we are not reaching the target audience or that we are not ranking correctly for the keywords or perhaps the advertising we are doing is not focused on the target audience we are looking for. So these two graphs here are going to give us information about performance, about user behavior, and combined can give us utilities to improve the product listing. Finally, we have the recommended vendor tasks, that here in recommended vendor tasks, we would have all the tasks that we should improve in terms of SEO to position our product, both level of titles, bullet points, images, HD images, descriptions, content plus search terms, and this is based on the criteria that Amazon follows. The A9 algorithm that would be the criteria of Amazon Retail Readiness, which with these steps you will achieve an improvement in organic positioning and therefore visibility and will become a vendor.